Hello and welcome to another episode of Lübeck Let's Play here in Minecraft. My name is Vera Gavia and um, I hope you have had a nice couple of days here since the last episode. Um, I know I have and so that's why, uh, well, I have and I have not unfortunately had time to play anymore. So when last we left us um, I had moved all my stuff to out here where it's now snowing and raining sorry for that and it's dark as well so uh, my stuff is getting wet probably and uh, I am going to today start building my automatic item sorting system in here and um, I have uh, only just now tried out a little bit here and it's it's the very standard sorting you can find for instance on I had some thoughts about trying to be fancy and figure something new out but I thought that well actually for this very first sorting system that I'm building in survival, I'm gonna keep to the standard and uh, uh, yeah, not not try and be inventive. Um, so yeah, this is what it's gonna look like all the way around here and around here as well on the outside, all the way to here. Uh, but I have discovered something, and that is that uh, the the item sorting system is going to be on the lower tier here of these chests and then I'm gonna ha have other chests uh, up top for sort of related items but that are going to be manual uh, and uh, I'm going to I'm not gonna need more than three high for that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, raise the floor because as you can see this is quite high at the moment up to the ceiling so I'm going to be able to actually not have this drop here but just be able to walk straight in. So I'm gonna have to tear all this down and uh, put a floor in basically. So I think I will start with that and um, uh, be back when I'm done. So there we go. See you in a little bit. Alright, so uh, I raised the floor and put some chests in, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, so here we are. Um, the chests are now level with the entrance, or the well, the floor is level with the entrance, and the chests are on top of that. And um, uh, for now, I just put some logs in here. Uh, this is uh, the carpet that gives the light, because underneath it is torches. So that's kind of cool. I don't have to have a lot of lights in here. I can just do that. And plus it looks kind of nice as well. So that's as far as I've gotten with this, uh, as far as the chests are concerned. Now there are two pieces of glowstone here. They are actually just placeholders. I'm going to put in redstone lamps. And the redstone lamps are going to light up whenever this chest contains anything or this ch chest contains anything respectively um, and that way I know here when this was one is lit this is going to be in my input chest so then I will know um, that the item is still not done sorting and this is going to be the outer chest so that, that uh, if this lights up that way I will know that uh, something has gone through the entire sorter and not been sorted properly so there we go. And I'm gonna have to, mm, I'm gonna have to uh, get the items from this chest up to this hopper here. Uh, basically, it's gonna be uh, like a chest here, and so they're gonna have to go into this chest, and then this hopper will suck them out and transport them along here, all the way along the upper. Uh, level of hoppers and down into this chest unless something happens on the way and what could happen on the way you ask well as I'm sure you are aware uh, there are two hopper rows underneath the item flow hopper line and these hopper lines uh, well the top one is facing outwards into nothingness or into a block at this point in time anyway and the other one is facing into the chest the lower one and the reason for that is that um, when items end up in this hopper, they can't go anywhere because this hopper only leads into a into a wall. 
So this hopper can't push any items out of it. Um, this hopper, however, the bottom one, this hopper can suck items into itself from above. And so this hopper is the one that will will uh, will always. Th so the bottom, basically, okay. Let me say this again. The bottom hopper will always suck items as long as it's not powered into itself and then further into the chest. This hopper here will never push items out of it, but it will allow itself to get items into it if there are room, and it will allow itself to, uh, well, it will, will allow other hoppers below it, for instance, <laughs> to take items out of it if it's if the if the hopper below is not power so that's the idea so basically that means that be behind each one of these middle hoppers is going to be a comparator and um, when the comparator gives power the redstone that is going to be going behind the comparator is going to depower this thing here so that means that if we have the right amount of rubbish items in in these middle hoppers here whenever one or more items uh, come into the hopper of the one or more of the items that we are going to want to sort comes into the hopper that uh, is going to power the comparator which will uh, unpower this hopper which will allow this hopper to suck that item out and into the chest and that will in turn unpower the comparator because this hopper now contains fewer items and around it goes like that so basically what we would put in here is something rubbish oh, i can't do that now because i haven't put any of the redstone in yet <laughs> they get sucked in immediately anyway so what is going to go into these hoppers is um sticks i think so 18 sticks one stick one stick one stick and then the last place here is going to be whatever we're going to sort and so when uh, stuff gets put into this chest it will come down here if what is sorted at the moment, or what flows through, is the same as this item. It will be gotten and sucked down, and that will compare, power the thing up and, and sort it in, as I said earlier. If it's not uh, the same item, it will flow along here until it finds the chest, or the hopper, sorry, with the right item. And if it doesn't find the chest with the right item, then it will end up in this output chest. So that's the idea. Sorry for the long-winded explanation. Uh, I'm sure... Uh, a lot of people have done that a lot better than me, obviously, so just go and uh, look on the Minecraft wiki if you want to know more about these things and uh, and read up on it. They're quite easy to build, so you can probably build one yourself without too much of a hassle. Too much hassle even, and so I'll just leave it at that. <coughs> I haven't actually thought through quite yet how I'm going to get items up here, so I think that's going to be my ne next job and uh, well i don't know how to do it quite so i'm going to have to give it a bit of a think so i'll be right back when i've done that and uh, i have a solution uh, well at least i have a temporary solution i think and uh, it is this here uh, dropper tower you might call it um and it's it kind of works i don't necessarily like it a lot uh, but it kind of works and so basically what we have here is the chest and a, a hopper underneath it and then there's droppers facing upwards up to this dropper here and this dropper faces into this chest so the idea is that um, uh, the hopper sucks out items from the chest puts them into the uh, dropper and the dropper fires up and pushes items subsequently upwards into the chest and then into this hopper line here all right and uh, the reason well i can i can show you how that works or that it works you see they are disappearing here so there's some ticking and they well they actually should end up here yeah and uh, it kind of works but it's easy to break it because if I do, if I put too much stuff in it, it'll just um, not work. And I'm not quite sure why, but uh, it, that's the way it is. So um, and I'm not going to break it now. I want it to work so that I can try out this uh, sorting system. And then I will have to get back to this to 
sort it out. And I think, I think I can have a chest here. I'm hoping I can actually, because otherwise it would be kind of annoying. Uh, the redstone um, is here. So, I mean, this is the closest. Oh, I can remove that so we can see. This is the closest that it's going to get. Uh, yeah, the comparator might give a signal sideways, in which case it's annoying. And then I'm going to have to remove this first chest here, which would actually suck a bit. But we'll see how that works out in a minute. So yeah, that's uh, one job done. The next job here is to sort out the redstone for this entire sorting system. And uh, I have showed you uh, how that, what that looks like already. So I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to get back to you when it's done. Uh, but uh, before I do that, I will say that as you can see, I'm tearing kind of a lot of this building down now. It's kind of just a shell of its former self or a remnant of its former self. That's okay, because I did plan to extend it a bit anyway, because as you can see, it's going to not be um, big enough. Um, I'm going to have to extend it out one block this way as well, or two even, or something like that. And so, and then widen it as well. And so that's fine. Also, it is obviously hideous, so I'm going to decorate it and make it look a lot nicer than it looks now. So that's all right. So anyway, I'm going to try and sort out this redstone and uh, get back to you when uh, I have some progress. And uh, progress has been made. Progress has been made. I have one side completed. Well, the redstone is completed. And I filled up three of the uh, hoppers with items as well. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But this is what it looks like uh, around back. And uh, if we go around the front here, I can show you this. Uh, oh dear. This, for instance, hopper. Uh, so this hopper contains 18 sticks, one stick, one stick, one stick, and a piece of stone. So this one will, uh, this chest will end up having stone in it. And this one, same thing, um, 18, 19, 20, 21 sticks, and plus an item, so in this case cobblestone, and here we have, have dirt. And, yes, so the dirt, as you saw, if we put in some dirt here, ticking when it goes up, and then it sorts down here, and we end up with some dirt here. Now, if you noticed i put in four pieces of dirt i got only two pieces out and so as you can understand i do have some problems still i'm gonna explain these two problems if i can get up on top of this chest first problem is this an item gets stuck here second problem is this an item gets stuck here I'm not sure about either of them really. I'm going to have to do some reading and some experimenting and figure it out. But anyway, this wasn't too bad actually to make the redstone and uh, the boring part really is to put in the sticks. So I'm going to continue with this off camera and in fact I'm going to continue with this until next time. So um, I'm going to have to love you and leave you. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like. Uh, it will be very much appreciated. And if you want to get updates on what I'm up to, please uh, check out my Twitter feed or uh, even subscribe to my channel. So there you have it. This has been Let's Play uh, Liebeck with me, Vila Gavia. And I'm out. Bye bye.